hello and welcome to my channel i am akram and in today's video we will discuss about the cursors available in postgres sql there are multiple cursors like simple cursors parameterized cursor for loop cursor and ref cursor so we will cover all these cursors one by one in different videos so today we will discuss about the simple cursor so let's start with this so before that we need to have one database setup if we don't have a database then you can download and install and then load one database sample i'll give the video link regarding that in the video description you can do from there in, in current uh, for this current video i am using the, the dvd rental database that uh, i have already loaded here and these are having the data so for example i'll uh, take the actor table so let's check the data from actor table select start from actor if we check this table data there will be many records available so here are all the records that are available in this actor table so what we'll do we'll use one cursor that will be simple cursor and we'll access one by one record in a loop so for that let's uh, create one store procedure and we'll use that one to access the data in a loop so first let's start writing say it's like a simple cursor I'm giving the name and then we define the language language as PLPG SQL yes, this is the delimiter there one variable will be declaring here suppose say lv string versus of character varying let's say its size of 200 one variable of record type suppose it's rc1 of record type variable and one cursor suppose in cursor 1 this cursor this is for cursor 4 suppose uh, in the select query will be writing it will be select uh, will be taking actor id first name so basically we will be showing uh, the actor id first name and last name of all the actors so for that name from actor ok so here also we can mention the order by clause as well and if any condition where clause and all we can mention here suppose I am doing order by through actor id so that we can verify the data easily so it's order by actor id okay so this is my cursor is declared here now let's write the begin part begin of the procedure and this will be the end of the procedure and end of the procedure and this is the delimiter so within begin and end block we'll be writing our codes here suppose uh, the first step is to open the cursor so for that we'll be doing open cursor 1 that cursor we have declared here it is cursor 1 so I have written here open cursor 1 and in the loop we will start one loop and in loop what we will do we will do fetch cursor 1 into the record 1 variable the variable I have declared of record type above ok so one by one it will be very uh, fetching the data in the loop okay so first step is writing the exit condition here exit when not found when there will be no more uh, va values in the cursor so the loop will be exit okay so here we'll be accessing those values through one say the variable we have declared suppose say lv string that we have declared we'll be storing those data here um, 
okay here I'm writing actor ID so using the pipeline RC one dot actor ID since uh, we are using the RC one as record so the data that are fetched it will be stored in the RC one variable actor ID okay now there will be there will be other values as well separate I'm separating with commas suppose actor first name so while writing the first name I can mention rc1 dot first name if uh, I'm writing first name because I'm, I have given the column name here as first name if I'm giving any alias name so that alias name should be used here the this column name that will that will be defined here only these column names are from the cursor variable only these are not the table values okay now next say I have to write actor last name as well for that I receive one dot last name okay suppose uh, now I'll show you what I'm saying suppose I have given alias name as to suppose say end name okay so here in in this place instead of writing the last name I have to write the end name okay and that will point to the last name that alias we have taken here so the string is prepared here so what we'll do it will fetch one by one record into the variable LV string and it will be put into this one okay and now suppose this is done now we'll write the raise notice uh, so that we can see here raise notice uh, if you don't know about the raise notice I have already made one video regarding the raise notice there uh, parameters and all so you can check that one as also I have given the link in the video description LV string so it will give me the out outputs okay in a loop so this is done now let's write the end loop it's better to have uh, the close uh, also close cursor one so I have closed the cursor here and also since I'm writing this code within the begin and end block I should have one uh, exception handling as well so I'm writing exception suppose I'm writing when others then this is the common exception type to handle all the exceptions and here also I'm giving raise notice and a suitable message we can print like uh, some something went wrong fine okay so our procedure is ready here and this procedure does what uh, when the execution start it will fetch uh, the record from the actor table in in, in a cursor okay so I'm opening the cursor and in the loop I'm fetching records in record one by one and storing in RC one variable which is of a record type as I have defined here so now next next thing what I'm doing I have taken one character varying variable here and I'm storing data over here okay and then I'm showing that like displaying data using the raise notice okay so now let's create this procedure Okay, the procedure is created now we need to call the procedure to call the procedure I have already made many videos how to call the procedure call simple underscore cursor since there are, there is uh, no input parameter so we can call like this only okay so I, I, I have selected this much only because I don't want to execute uh, all those things so I am highlighting these things and executing it okay so uh, here are all the data that uh, uh, that uh, uh, I, I wanted to show you from actor table for actor ID one first name is this and last name is this so uh, let's uh, ver let verify these things from table you can
okay so here is the output this is the actor id 1 name first name and last name actor id 2 first name last name so let's verify if uh, th the same is here using our loop that we had created so yeah it uh, it's same both side you can also verify okay so if you if you don't have this uh, dvd rental database uh, in your system so you can set up this one also i'm giving the link in the video description you can use that so uh, this much for the video in the next video we'll see other type of cursor and uh, we'll cover multiple cursors that are available in postgresql so don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the notification and also check out other videos from the playlist and the channel regarding the postgresql and if you have any doubt you, you are open to ask me in the comment box I'll try my best to uh, answer them okay so let's meet in the next video till then take care bye bye